What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel where we talk about this tank. Uh, today we're going to go over how the Geo Reefs Kalkwasser reactor is working and how corals are doing since the last episode of What the Reef. So let's jump right into it. All right, Geo Reefs Calc Reactor. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with Kalkwasser reactors, but uh, this is my first one. So uh, it's it looks very intimidating, but it's super simple. You need a dosing pump, and you also need a controllable outlet for this pump right here to turn the Kalkwasser to saturate the water and keep it at its potency. Um, pretty much the dosing pump sucks water through the ATO into here and then the out, there's an out inlet or outlet, I guess, and it goes into your pump and you have to calibrate your lines and all that so you, you're getting whatever you're dosing. So very simple. Right now I'm currently dosing 60 mLs and it's right around, I just checked it, it's right at 8.3. So as you can see, goes in even it's even labeled i had this opposite when i first put on in and then out that's it that's all it is and this pump is just to stir it so literally if it wasn't this pump it would just be a tank of water that's just pushing through calcwasser also something i was like kind of worried about um as long as this pump's not on you can open this like you unscrew this and take this off nothing will spill over trust me i uh, i had to do something where i had to had these switched around and I was like, man, I got this set up and what if it overflows, but it doesn't. You just unscrew it and nothing will overfill. Just make sure you're not doing it when this is on and you're good to go. All right guys, so let's talk about what's going on in the tank. Last video, there's certain corals, certain SPS that are showing like really awesome growth, but the rest of them, the, like the ones I want to go, they're like either not growing or growing very slow. I know SPS grow slow, but like some of these, they're, they're not even showing signs of growth. Two factors, one, phosphates might be too high because I was at like 0.30 or 0.33 and then I checked today and it was at like 0.41. So I'm gonna either stop the phosphate dosage or lower my feedings a bit and see what happens. Nitrate is at 17, 17-ish, which I don't think that's an issue because ever since I bumped it up to that, I've seen like better results. So it might be the phosphate. Other thing would be the tin. I don't know if tin is, is affecting this, but it's super elevated. So, and I don't know where it's coming from. It could have been from that life source I was using like a lot when I first got it. So it might be from that. So I did get some of this, what is this? Uh, Cuprosorb, Cooper Seachem's Cuprosorb. It's supposed to absorb heavy metals. So that I got from someone on the channel that recommended it. So I put that in like a few days ago. So I'm gonna see how that goes until uh, I do my next ICP test and see if that lowers it. In the meantime, see what happens with the corals. So I guess there's like stags, green slimers, the only ones I know by name. But I think those are like decently fast growing SPS. This one, I'm not sure what this one's called. It's a very popular one, but that one's growing pretty well. But rest of them, like this stuff right here, it's, I don't know what it's doing, like especially these green ones. I don't know the names of those. It was growing and then it stopped. Pops are a bit out, nothing crazy, but I have no idea what's going on with that one. Um, what else? Coral depth. I don't know the name of that coral, but part of it's alive. That one's dead. That might've been my fault because I went in there with scissors to cut some of the pelicing zanias that were back there. And I think I snipped it or did something. Cause after I did that, it just KO'd. So I'm just gonna leave it, maybe glue some, some of these frags to it. I don't know, let it grow on it or just take it out altogether. Okay, Loud Wolf. Loud Wolf nitrate and phosphates working amazing. But the only thing I realized today when I was mixing some new nitrate was the one I ordered was calcium nitrate. And as uh, I read some forums and threads and they said there's not that much calcium, there's more nitrate than calcium, so you're not gonna like overdose calcium. But if you go on the dosing chart, 
there's no calcium nitrate there. It's only potassium nitrate. So I read some other forms and they said you could use that one and it would just be off a little bit. So I would like, if you do decide to use that, just be cautious on the dosage. Just kind of like put a little less and you won't overdose your tank. So, I mean, I didn't, I've been doing it. I did it for what, last two or three weeks and it didn't, everything's been fine. So I just mixed again with that same formula. So I'm not gonna do anything dramatic. I had the Seachem, I keep forgetting the name of this, Cuprasorb to see if uh, it'll lower the tin on the next IFCP. I think I'm gonna send it out next week. Also, silicates are really high. I need to change out those um, filters in the RO because silicates are kind of high. At, but online it said it shouldn't like affect coral growth unless like there's a bunch of diatoms and it's like suffocating the corals. But I'm not, I barely have any diatoms in here. It's just stuff on the glass. So it's not like outrageous. I'm still gonna change, get some new filters, do that. And then just wait on the ICP and see what exactly is going on. And yeah, just go from there. I'm not jumping the gun on nothing. I'm not gonna change anything and just wait. Cause every time I did that, it was a, it was a disaster. So. We're just gonna wait patiently. So slow growth, it could be high phosphates, high tin levels, or high silicate levels. There's three things. I'm glad it's nothing like crazy, um, something like it's gonna be hard to fix, but those things should be very simple to correct. And I guess we'll go from there. So I have another week till I send out the ICP. So I'm gonna try to work on that slowly and Hopefully in the next update video, we see uh, more growth. All right guys, that is it for this episode of What The Reef. We did come a long way on subscribers since that last video, so I appreciate everyone that has subscribed. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And I will catch you guys on the next 